hello baddies especially my bookish baddies welcome back to my channel it's your girl brandy nikhil and i'm back with another bookish video another one my michigan shirt on you know hardly home but always repping anyways so i recently went thrift booking so i went to thrift store i went to the goodwill and i love to check out their book section if you are a bookish baddie and you are not going to your local goodwill to score a couple good books for a great price you're missing out so this year i've been really focusing on my finances like i don't want to keep spending a lot of money i like to spend money it feels good but i gotta slow up so with that being said i've been cutting back on my book spending and i got a kindle unlimited subscription so i read a lot on my ipad um i've been collecting some first edition so if i'm going to spend some money on books then i'll spend it that way but otherwise i've been like going to the goodwill trying to score some good reads and then every now and again i'll still buy a brand new book if i'm like oh i want this i love the cover i want it in my collection that being said the goodwill has been getting me together okay it's been getting me together so i just want to share with you quick share with you 10 quick books that i got and i got all of these books under 20 dollars let's get into it so i got my stack over here so let's start with the first one i got a copy of romeo and juliet i just feel like this is good to have on your bookshelf so it's obviously pretty used um it's in fair condition not great condition it's got a little sticker on there somebody's address thanks meredith for the book um but i also oh and there's just some kind of character about like finding like sticky notes and things in books. But um, I have not read Romeo and Juliet in many, many years. And so I think I'm going to. I think I'm going to. I've been wanting to read some Shakespeare. Um, of course, I read some like in high school, maybe even in college. But it's been a while. And I just like to, to keep a nice um, range in my reading. So this will add to that range. So one of these days, I'm going to pick up Romeo and Juliet. And I'm going to read it through. So I thought that was cool to have in my collection. Secondly, this book called The Perfect Stranger. If you've been watching for a little bit, you know I love me a good thriller. So I'm excited to check this out. I mean, just look at the cover. It gives thrilling. Okay? It gives thrilling. Everyone in this town has something to hide. Well, I want to find out what they got to hide. It is in good condition. Like you can see, you know, the spine has a little wear. Um, but otherwise, it is in pretty good condition excited to check that one out next up if you've been watching me a while you also know that i am working through all of stephen king books all of stephen king's books so finding this was like oh perfect duma key um on duma key a man who should be dead finds healing in the solitude of painting but edgar Fremantle is far from alone so I'm excited to read this one. And this one feels good. Like, you know how when it's when the paperback is really bendy? Oh, drool emoji. So I'm really excited to get into this one. This one is actually in excellent, maybe even brand new condition. It doesn't even look like anybody's ever read this one. So good find. The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. I love this book, y'all. I love this book. I read this and I was recommending it to everybody. So I uh, read the Kindle version. So I was like, oh, perfect. This is something I would like to have on my shelf because it's going to be a reread. Like I'm going to read this one again. And it is in pretty good condition. Like on the interior, pretty much new. Exterior, it's got a couple little nicks, but it's, it's practically new as well. So that was a good find. I like Nora Roberts, y'all. I like her mystery romances. Like, I don't know about anything else she writes, but her mystery romances I like. That's the vibes this one is giving. It is in fair condition. You know, the jacket's a little tattered and whatnot, but the villa. Definitely going to get into that one. Okay. This one is like on a lot of reading lists and I've never read it. I don't even know what it's about, but I'm going to read it. The Curious Incident of the Dog in the Nighttime. I don't know what it's about, but I was like, oh, I'll be hearing about that one. Let me pick that up. 
This is another one that I've been hearing a lot about, All the Light We Cannot See. And this is in excellent, like brand new condition. So I'm also excited to check this one out. So I've got so much reading to do. Where the Crawdads Sing, another really popular one. This is part of Reese's Book Club. Anything I've read from her so far, I've really enjoyed anything from her book club. So I'm excited to check this one out as well. The Worldwide Sensation. And it is in brand new condition. I'm telling y'all, you better go to y'all local Goodwill. You sleeping. This is one of my favorites. I love me some Eric Jerome Dickey, y'all. Oh, his books just give me so much nostalgia. I have this book in paperback, but I do not have the hardback. So I was glad to score this one. So I'll probably take my paperback to the Goodwill. Let me see if I can grab it right quick. I don't know. I might keep my paperback. It's so cute. I don't know. But I was glad to score this one for a good deal. And lastly, another Nora. I'm telling y'all, I love me some Nora. And this one is in really good condition, actually. Yeah, it's in, it's in really good condition. So it's not in perfect condition, but it looks to be fairly new. Maybe just a little uh, wear and tear on the jacket here. But another Nora, another mystery romance. I can't wait to get into it. So those are the 10 books. I got under $20 for 10 books. Go thrift booking if you have not. Go to your local Goodwill. You know, just go go once a week, every other week, once a month, whenever. I guarantee you, you're going to find some good stuff. Tell me, if you are a thrift booker, tell me the best book that you found in a thrift store. Also, as a bonus, if you are a DVD collector of any kind, I know most people are not watching DVDs anymore, check the DVDs. If you're a vinyl collector, check their vinyls. I once went to a Goodwill and I found every season of Sex in the City on DVD. Every season. I want to say I paid maybe $25 for all the seasons. Every single one. My heart was so full. Okay, that's all I got for y'all today. Until next time, I will talk to y'all soon. Bye. 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Allah, as-salamu alayhi. You read that? Good time, madrasa, mudira, hatotar, dikhusun, muwaktu, dahi.